Shalom, shalom. I'm going to give all praises. Glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq Wadash. Yahweh is the Most High God, and Yahweh Shai is who the world enemy calls Jesus the Christ. The Rakaq is the Holy Spirit, the Pale of Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, the one that they continue to adore and be sincere. And a mighty shalom to the hopeful elect in the same spirit teaching this word and believing this word, Lord willing that they continue to endure and be sincere. And shalom to the aquat yum that are believers of the faith and this truth, Lord willing that you can continue to pursue your lot, which is being a loving and silent and virtuous wife. And Lord willing to most have mercy on the other brothers and sisters that's not in the faith. Um, this is just, you know, a quick commentary. You know, I cannot get this out of my head, but it was something that Pastor Gabar said on his, his live, which is totally true. You know, and Lord willing this motivates you you know, from this day forward that you get to meditate on that, on this thought. What you don't see is greater than what you do see. You know, what we don't see is greater than what we do see. Money, your job, you know, uh, uh, the abundance of how your household might look right now. Man, what, what, what you don't see, like order, like in the spirit world, under your how by Shem Shai, it's order. The angels are in order. The left side, the right side, they're in order. You know, when you die on this side, you go in the spirit world. You're in order. You ain't having fun. You ain't trying to be a celebrity. You're in the spirit, you know? So the things that we that, that we don't see are greater, are more mightier than what we do see, man. Colors, you know? The way that you breathe on this side, the air that you breathe is way better, you know, from what you don't see, right? You're feeling, you know? Yahweh Shai in his glorified form right now. When he come back, he ain't going to meet us like a man, you know? We don't even know what it feels like to have a glorified body, you know? You don't know what it feels like to not to not stress days in, days out, year after year, season after season. No stress, you know? No lawlessness. Like, uh, uh, um, you, you, you're not seeing deceit, adultery, murder, crimes, envy, greed, you know? This is why you have to desire the things that you don't see. So I'm going to just bring out maybe maybe a couple, maybe just one. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to bring out, this is what I, what I want to bring out, is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18. And it says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You know, this is why our, you, your hope should be on the things that you don't see. Colossians chapter three, set your affections on things above because they're greater than the things that you see. You know, way greater. We can't even enjoy our kids on this side, man. You know, this is why uh, brothers and sisters need to be hoping. Have the hope within your heart, knowing that the Lord have angels watching over you, you know, and Lord willing, you can ask the Lord not to remove his spirit from you so that you can move in, in a more correct way. Yes, we slip because of this fucking flesh, man. This is Psalms 34, verse seven. I know multiple people heard this verse. It says the angels of the Lord, Yahweh, encamp around about them that fear him and deliver them. Right. Even more, the things that you don't see. Sometimes you might look up and you see you see a light, you might see a chariot from the distance, but what about the chariots that you don't see, man? Like Alicia had to pray for the servant, man. I keep bringing this up. Had to pray for the servant to be able to see, and when he was, when his eyes was open, he was able to see chariots. On the side that we on right now, this is a faith-based faith -based ministry right now. Your faith, man, you know? Cause you have to think, I think it is in uh, St. John chapter uh, 20, you know, for the ones that didn't get to see, that actually believe, man. How how many of us really believe, man? Right? Let me see if I can find it. In the, um, I, I know it's in John. I think it's John 20. Yep, right. 20 something. Let me see. Yep. This is uh, St. John chapter 20, verse 29. Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. You got to believe that the things that you don't see is greater than what you do see. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I, I need to see it to believe that it's greater. No, man, you got to have faith that that is, that is way better, man. It's way better. Yo, when I go to sleep, it's better than me being woke. Because I'm not worrying about 
work while I'm asleep unless I wake up. I'm not worried about a woman, emotions or feelings. I'm not worried about a kid uh, touching something that they're not supposed to. I'm not worried about somebody shooting and killing unless it's in my dream. If I'm just blacked out, knocked out, snoring in another dimension, I'm not worried about it. But when you wake up, you get to see the, the, the things that your people going through, drugs, the women hopping from every man and man. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a woman talking about her husband because he, he might want another girl or whatever. Oh, no, man, no, that man is wicked. And then when you look at it, he trying to order you to cover up. If you're not going to listen, he's going to find him somebody else. And then you want to leave. Oh, man, these Hebrew Israelites. Then you got to deal with people in Christianity saying that we're the Pharisees. Yes, it's Pharisees within this truth and it's Pharisees outside this truth. But the truth is to bring you back into the history of who you is. Anybody outside this truth ain't even doing that. The things that we don't see is greater than what we can see, man. The Lord is dropping down blessings. You can't even see it, man. You know, you can't even see it. How, how amazing is when you're praying is something spiritual happen for it to be lifted up, man. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the power that he has is greater than what, we, what we're actually seeing. Yo, you, you're breathing air and you can't even see it, man. You know? The way your, your insides, your organs was created, that was made by a divine power. You know? This is why we got to have hope. You want to always pray. Like my captain, Yermaya, he said, man, make sure you're praying, man. Even if you do something wrong. Because praying shows that you have faith. When you read, it shows that you have faith. When you're hearing the word, it shows that you have faith. When you get in order and you're listening to correction, it shows that you have faith. Every move that you make, it should be showing to yourself. I have faith. I know what I'm into. I know who I am. Because there's going to be things of the flesh and things of this world that's going to try to take you away from that. Remember, what you don't see is greater than the things that you do see. Lord willing, this was motivating to you because it was to me. And meditate on it. Think upon it, right? Because what we're going to get is what we don't see. It's almost here. It's almost here. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha And with that, Shalom.